More news now, making sure elections and related state computer systems stay secure. Rhode Island's Secretary of State's office holding a cybersecurity summit today to take a close look at threats and the latest protection measures. Kate Walsh joins us live with those details. Kate. Well, Patrick, I've been on the Zoom meeting since it began at 9 this morning, and state leaders were pleased that the election officials from all 39 communities in Rhode Island and their IT counterparts were all in on that meeting. There were about 145 participants on the virtual meeting, headlined by representatives from the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency known as CISA. Congr Congressman Langevin also spoke about his role in getting money for cybersecurity efforts. The focus was on lessons learned from the 2016 and 2020 elections and what they can do to ensure safe elections in 2022, which will be midterm elections here in Rhode Island. The security experts stressed that there is no evidence election results were ever rigged or changed in past presidential elections, but there was evidence that foreign entities like Russians used misinformation to try to sway people to vote a certain way with the goal of weakening our democracy. The, the danger uh, that's, that, that I'm really worried about right now around uh, the lies that are told about election integrity are that they undermine the public's confidence in the fairness and the freeness of American elections. Each community was encouraged to also switch to a .gov website to increase security if they haven't already. And another takeaway was the more we talk about cybersecurity and the more we can strengthen it by debunking misinformation that might be out there. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.